Workers are scrambling after the discovery of more highly radioactive water around the Fukushima nuclear plant. The pools of water must be drained to prevent further contamination of groundwater and seawater. Meanwhile, soil samples around the plant have turned up trace amounts of plutonium used in reactor number three. However, officials insist the plutonium does not pose a health threat. In fact, some of it is decades-old residue from nuclear weapons testing. The latest setbacks are fueling a collapse of confidence in the government's handling of the nuclear crisis, a scenario familiar to Dr. Robert Gale, a leading authority on radiation accidents. I think that people, uh, they don't necessarily trust, they certainly don't trust people from the company. They know that people from the government are really just reading out data that they're given. And they don't have, it's not reasonable to expect a politician to have a fundamental understanding of radiobiology. Which is why Gale is calling for a panel of experts to help citizens make sense of what's going on. At Chernobyl, the only significant source of cancer was contaminated dairy products, which triggered thyroid cancer in 6,000 children. Japan has already pulled milk from the affected area from their food supply. Since the Fukushima accident at the moment is of a much, much lower magnitude, it's, it's hard to imagine that there would be very, very serious health consequences from it. It may be weeks before the plant is stabilized and years before contamination is cleaned up at the complex, but Gale predicts the toll on public health will be minimal. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Tokyo.